Hey, everybody out there. Hope you all had a good Thanksgiving. I'm just finishing up some minor tweaks to this 71 Fender Super Reverb that's been converted into a head cab. And I wanted to show a little bit about how I go about biasing an amp. Uh, this is a silver face amp here, but we have converted it over to a black panel style. So it, it's the AB763 circuit now. Uh, and we'll talk about rectifiers and what the client had in here originally, uh, which was one of these solid state rectifiers. But I've changed it to a GZ34 like the AB763, and I'll tell you why here in a second. But to start with, the original schematic uh, was set up for a wall voltage of 117 volts. So using one hand, that's the wall voltage coming in. I've got a Variac right here. You can see we've got 700 or 37.9 uh, milliamps of plate voltage, which uh, gives us on the plates of the of this. 6L6s, right almost exactly what the schematic calls for, which is 460 volts, so we're within a you know, 1.7 volts, so that's really good. If we increase this wall voltage, which around here in East Tennessee, the wall voltage is closer to 123 volts, and it can go up to 125, 126 so where we were, you know, at 117, that gives us a plate dissipation of 59%, which you hear amps should run between 50 and 70% when they're class AB. If we increase this wall voltage up, you see the plate current goes up as well. And I'm just going to max it out at 126. Now, we usually don't see those kinds of levels in East Tennessee. Now we have a plate voltage not of 460, we've now got 492.2 volts on our vacuum tubes. Now, 6L6s are rated for 500 volts, so we're still good here, but, but that's about the maximum that we want. And 43 milliamps of current draw, that puts us now at 72% place dissipation, so we're just a little bit over the maximum recommendation. I will draw this down a little bit, the wall voltage to what we typically see in East Tennessee, which is about 123 volts. And at 123 volts, we have on the plates, DC, uh, 481 and a half right now, which is right around 63% plate dissipation. So I've biased this amp to where if it sees lower wall voltage around 117, it's still getting around 60%. And if it sees a maximum wall voltage, it's going to be maxing around 70. So there's plenty of variation there, uh, which is good for many venues that a person might find themselves in. Now, if we were to use the 5U4 rectifier, which is what the silver face amps have, that drops the plate voltages down um, quite a bit. I think uh, an extra 20 or 30 volts down. Uh, so it has a little bit more of a spongy feel, a little bit more tube sag. However, the solid state rectifier here, the reason that I'm suggesting for the client not to use this is because it does not drop the voltage like a tube rectifier will. Um, with this, it's spitting out over 500 volts. Uh, it was, I think, it, you know, at 123 volts of input, it was around 515 volts. And it gets hard to bias the amp when, you've, when you're exceeding the, the plate voltage recommendations. Things want to run away a little bit, and you're, you're using a lot of heat, uh, you're stressing the vacuum tube, so I think we're right on the money here where we want to be with this with this amp. Uh, we're we're right in that you know sixty to seventy percent range, depending on what the wall voltage is. Uh, 
suggest. So, so that's just a little bit of fun here today, and I uh, hope you all are getting ready for Christmas, doing some shopping. I'll talk to you later.